Now we are with us, Srimati Nirza, Assistant Professor of Delhi Institute of Technology, Engineering Technology. Ma'am, when did you start your career in the area? Uh, yeah, I have started my teaching career uh, in the year 2007. Okay, After the completion of the year, I have started my career. Mm -hmm. And why did you choose your teaching career? Actually, uh, I have not interested to do this teaching job. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have selected in uh, Vipro company while studying there. So after that, my parents are uh, not willing to join me in uh, software company. So I have shifted to this uh, college. After marriage, I have shifted to this college. Uh, to this college, I mean, whichever college I have studied. So in that only, I have joined as an assistant professor. <coughs> for the first time, when I went for teaching, I was very scared because uh, that is the first experience while teaching to the students. Okay. So, uh, whenever I have asked one question after uh, completing my syllabus, whenever I have asked question, the students answered very well. So, at that time, I was very excited and I felt that to continue the teaching job so that uh, I can build up students, you know, so that they can develop themselves I can share my knowledge to them like that. So, yes, right now I am enjoying my teaching profession as I have completed my 10 years of teaching experience. So, now I am very interested to join and now I am working as an assistant professor. So, now I am willing to do PhD. How do you motivate your students to become active in classroom? I will encourage my students to not to have backlogs mm -hmm. so that for the interview purpose they have to maintain some percentage so, so that they can attend the interviews and they can get the good job. So please uh, maintain, uh, please do not, main, do not uh, have any backlogs so that uh, they can settle well in their life. So like that I like to give some motivation okay. lectures. Are you facing any challenges in your teaching career? Yes sir. Ultimately because I have to know each and every student in detail, right? Mm -hmm. So that uh, uh, I can talk, I can mingle with them and I can know about them very clearly so that I can give any suggestions, whatever suggestions regarding uh, uh, subject wise as well as uh, the personal. So then like that I will be in touch with the students and I know about the students very well. Are you sure you in your life? Yeah. And recently one of my students, one month, one month back ago, one of my students uh, called me. In the previous college I have worked. So he called me and told us, Madam, I have got selected in uh, some MNC company. Uh, so I got very excited because uh, they remembered me after shifting to other college also, they remembered me and called me and told that I have got a job man like that. I felt very happy. That was the greatest experience for me as a teacher. Thank you ma'am.